This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com I get to Rabbi Isai, I feel like Hanukkah I want to share with you a very important vart from the writings of the Ben Eshchai in this week's parasha, Parshas Vayigash. We've been quoting in the past, both from the Sefer of the Drashos of the Ben Eshchai, the Oid Yosef Chai, as well as the Sefer Berchas Hareach. Berchas Hareach stands for Hareach Rabbi Yosef Chaim, which we mentioned was found in a basement in Iraq, in an intelligence agency office. This, these Ksavim, these manuscripts of the Ben Eshchai, were flooded in this agency. And uh, we're going to be quoting this morning from both of these Sarim, and putting the two together, we're going to bring out a, a wonderful explanation on the opening Pasuk in this week's parasha. Vayigash Elav Yehuda, Yehuda approaches Yosef. Vayoymer Elav, and he says, Be Adoini, please my master. Yedaber na avdecha davar. May your servant speak words, but aznei adoini in the ears of my master. V'yayichar abcha v'yavdecha. Please do not get angry at your servant. Ki kamoicha kefarei. Because just like you are, so is Parai. What is the meaning of this Pasuk? What is Yehuda messaging Yosef? Well, the Ben Chai quotes the Perkiz of Lazar and Perk Lamates that points out that why did Yosef die 10 years before his brothers? Because 10 times he heard Yaakov Avinu being referred to as Avdecha Avinu, your servant, our father, and he did not protest. How could he allow himself to listen to his father being called his servant? Ten times he heard this, and because of that he was punished that he passed away ten years before any of the other brothers. And the Ben Eshchai points out that if you look in the Psukim, only five times did Yosef hear the expression, Avdecha Avino, one time in Parshas Miketz, and four times in Parshas Vayigash. Why then is he being punished for ten years if he did not hear it ten times but only five times? Says the Ben Eshchai, he's being punished doubly for each time. Because each time he heard it, the Shmia was an Avera, and then the Shtika, which was a Haida, the silence, which was a form of an admission, was another infraction. So every infraction was really a double infraction. The listening and the silence of not responding. Well, says the Ben Eshchai, the truth is, in this week's parish, when Yosef is asking, I would like to speak directly in your ear, the implication being, and Chazal point out, that until now, Yehuda was speaking through an interpreter. When Yehuda is asking to speak directly in the ear of Yosef, he's actually saving Yosef's life. Why? When Parshas Miketz, it was through somewhat of a long-distance interpreter. And therefore, Yosef was only punished when the interpreter repeated it to him, but not when Yehuda said it to the interpreter. Presumably, Yosef did not hear what Yehuda said to the interpreter. However... In this week's parasha, as Yehuda is coming close, Yehuda is saving Yosef's life by saying, that I want to speak directly in your ear and I want to make do, do away with the interpreter. Because if we're going to have an interpreter now, then Yosef is going to be punished for four years for every time he hears Avdecha. You know why? Because when Yehuda says it to the interpreter and Yosef hears that, and he doesn't protest, and then the interpreter will say it again to Yosef, that's another hearing and another lack of protesting. So, for the four times in Parashas Vayigash that Yosef is going to hear Avdecha Avinu, instead of being punished eight years for them, he could have very well been, pu- been punished 16 years. Because again, each time could have been doubled hearing and not protesting when he hears Yehuda tell the interpreter, and hearing and not protesting when the interpreter tells him. So Yehuda says, listen to me. Let me speak directly to you. We know that there's a concept that a person has a makatrig, there is an accuser against a person, that makatrig is called af, the midah of af. Yehuda says, let me speak directly to you and obviate the need for interpreter. Because by doing so, I don't want the midah of af to be aroused against you. And why would it be aroused against you? Because you're going to hear avdecha doubly, me to interpreter and then the interpreter to you. And the reason why I'm going to obviate the need for an interpreter is just like Pare understands Lashon HaKodesh, so do you. And therefore we don't need an interpreter. Therefore, says the Ben Eshchai in the Drashas Ozi Oid Yosef Chai, we could read Yehuda's words as follows. Yedaber na avdecha davar ba'oznei adoini. 
I'm coming close to you now. Therefore, let me speak directly to you and get rid of the interpreter. I don't want af to flare up against you doubly because you're going to be hearing it twice from me and the interpreter. And what would the midah of af be makatrig against you? Be'avdecha. The fact that you have to hear the words avdecha against your father. Because I know you understand Lashon HaKodesh. This is what the Chida writes in the Drashos Oyd Yosef Chai. This is what the Ben Eshchai writes in the Drashos Oyd Yosef Chai. Comes again the Ben Eshchai in the Sefer, Berchos Hareach, and he adds one thing. Now we could take the word Vayigash and break it into two. Vav Yud Gash. Because I am Gash, therefore, because I am coming close to you, because I am coming next to you, then Vav Yud I am removing from you 16 years! 16 years that you could have had to pass away earlier. Meaning, we're breaking up Vayigash into Vav Yud Gimel Shin. Because of a, mix, a missing 16 years that I don't want to take away from your life, gosh, I am coming close to you and speaking directly in your ear, obviating the need for an interpreter. And therefore, Yehuda, in essence, is sparing Yosef instead of having to lose eight, uh, 16 years from his life, now it's only an additional 8, and ultimately Yosef passed away 10 years earlier, 4 for what transpired in this week's parasha, and 1 for parashas Mikach. These are some of the Ramazim and Soydais that are hidden be, behind the words of Tarasenu HaKadosh on the opening pasuk of Vayigash Elav Yehuda. Wish everyone a terrific day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.